and welcome back to Building Games on AWS. This is episode four of the Game Analytics Pipeline series. My name is Gina Gizzi. I'm a solutions architect with AWS Game Tech. In this episode, we're going to walk through step-by-step -step how to deploy the Game Analytics Pipeline solution in the AWS Management Console using CloudFormation and also how to generate sample game events using Cloud9. Let's get started. Okay, now we're going to launch the Game Analytics Pipeline solution in our own AWS account. So click the link in the description to go to the landing page for the Game Analytics Pipeline solution, which looks just like this. So it explains what the solution is. It does a solution overview uh, for the architecture, which is what we just went through. And it provides all of the links to relevant resources that you might need for deploying the solution and understanding how it works. For example, the source code which links to the GitHub repository for all of the source code, the ETL code, the Lambda code that's used in the solution. Uh, the CloudFormation template, if you want to download it and customize it yourself, uh, a link to the implementation guide. So if you want to read through this guide, it will basically walk through step by step what we're going to be doing in the rest of this series. Um, but it also has really good information on, you know, what the solution is going to cost, what are the different components used in the solution, some implementation considerations and more. So what we're going to do is launch this in the AWS console. So to do that, from the landing page, click this button that says launch in the AWS console, and it will open up your AWS account. So it's either going to prompt you to log into your own AWS account, or if you don't have one already, make sure to create one. And then once you're signed in, it will uh, open up the landing page for AWS CloudFormation which is uh, our service that allows you to execute infrastructure as code to deploy uh, AWS resources in an automated fashion. So just leave all of these configurations as default. The template is already provided for us uh, and we specify the link to the template. This populates uh, by default, so we don't need to change anything here. So just click next. Enter a stack name. So we will name it the Game Analytics Pipeline. And here are some different parameters that you can customize for the solution. So the first one is enable streaming analytics, yes or no. So this is just deploys uh, a real-time streaming analytics portion to the pipeline using services like Kinesis Data Analytics, uh, Lambda, and CloudWatch. And so in your production environment, you can optionally choose if you want to enable this or not. For now, we're going to make sure that we leave this as yes because we want to enable it to explore the real-time portion of the solution. Kinesis Stream Shards, this specifies, uh, this allows you to specify the amount of shards that you want in your Kinesis data streams. For now, we're going to leave it as one, but in a production environment, you're probably going to need more shards depending on your data throughput. So it's important just to estimate what your data throughput is going to be and then make sure that you're monitoring your data throughput, you're monitoring the performance of your Kinesis data streams to determine if you need to increase or decrease the amount of shards that you have for your stream. And I'll also link to a really good blog post that I just read that uh, you know goes into more detail about understanding how, when, and why to scale your Kinesis data stream. The next parameter is solution admin email address. So you can optionally choose to provide your own email address if you want to get notified when there's different alarms. Uh, through SNS, our simple notification service. We're just going to leave this as false for now, but optionally choose to do this if you'd like. And then finally, there's solution mode. So there's two different modes that you can deploy the solution in. There's dev mode and prod mode. So for now, we're going to leave this in dev mode because we're not deploying the solution in a production environment right now. There are some small 
changes between dev and prod mode or some small differences. For example, dev mode configures the Kinesis data firehose with a uh, buffer interval of 60 seconds, where in production it'll configure the Kinesis data firehose with a buffer interval of max 15 minutes. Uh, another small difference is that the dev mode deploys some sample queries out of the box for you to use so that you can practice playing with Amazon Athena, and we're going to want to explore that in our, uh, you know, series as we begin to explore the solution. So for now, we're going to leave this as dev mode and click next. We'll leave all of these other configurations as default. Next. Make sure you scroll all the way down to the bottom and uh, acknowledge that CloudFormation might need access uh, to some different features and capabilities, and finally just create stack. This will take about five to 10 minutes to actually launch the stack. So I'm going to uh, give y'all some time to launch the stack and we'll come back shortly when it's ready. Okay, so it looks like our CloudFormation stack has finished deploying. Some quick things to note here, you can see stack information, uh, resources, events, outputs, uh, parameters. Click the outputs tab. And here we can see some different key value pairs that were outputted from the solution. So for example, the name of our analytics S3 bucket where all of our analytics data will be stored. The name of our game events stream, which is the name of our Kinesis data stream that the solution deployed. So we're going to keep this tab up because we are going to need to reference some of the outputs here to generate sample data, which is the very next step. So to do that, go back to the landing page of the game analytics pipeline and click view implementation guide. On the left hand navigation pane, click deployment. And here's an overview of how to actually deploy and get started with the solution that's also in the implementation guide. Uh, but we already did step one, which is launch the stack. And now we're on to step two, which is generate sample game events. So I'm going to click into here and it, it says the very first part of this is to access the GitHub repository and download or copy the published data.py Python script. So I'm going to open the GitHub repository in a new tab. It says that the script lives at source slash demo, that path. So I'm finding source, demo, and here's that published data Python script. I'm going to just leave this up. I'm not going to download the entire GitHub repository, but when it comes to it, I'm just going to copy and paste and create a new file. The next step is to execute a couple of different Python commands to install the demo script and any prerequisites or dependencies that we actually need. The easiest way that I like to do this instead of doing it on my local machine is to use Cloud9, which is an AWS service that's actually a browser-based IDE or integrated development environment that allows me to do this in the cloud instead of on my local machine. So let's walk through how to set up a Cloud9 environment. Go back to your AWS console, uh, go to services and find Cloud9, a cloud IDE for writing, running, and debugging code. I'm going to open this up in a new tab. It says, welcome to Cloud9. So let's create an environment here. We'll give it a name. So I'm naming it GAP, which stands for Game Analytics Pipeline Cloud9. You can optionally choose to give it a description and click next. Here are some environment settings that you can configure. For now, we're going to leave all of these default, but you can choose, choose things like the platform that you want to run, the instance type. So Cloud9 actually is just an EC2 instance uh, under the hood that is actually running on in your AWS account. So you can choose the instance type that you want to use. We'll use T2 Micro for now because that actually is uh, eligible for the free tier and click next. And finally, just create environment. So this probably takes about four to five minutes to, to set up. It says we're creating your AWS Cloud9 environment. This can take a few minutes. So for now, 
we're going to just wait and give it a couple of minutes until our Cloud9 environment is spun up. Okay, so it looks like our Cloud9 environment is spun up and it should look something similar to this. So what I'm going to do, and uh, instead of downloading this entire GitHub repository, I'm just going to copy uh, all of the code that's in this file here. Copy. In Cloud9, I'm going to click File, New File, and just in the root directory, I'm going to paste this all and uh, file save as and we'll save it as the same thing so publish underscore data dot pi and uh save so that's that's my workaround uh for downloading this python script without having to download the entire repository so going back to the step-by-step -step deployment guide the next portion is to run the following Python commands to install the script and any dependencies that we need. So uh, if you just copy these commands, there's a little copy button right here, go back to cloud nine and paste, and it will run all of those commands for you. So we're installing things like pip, virtual environment. I'll run that last one. The next command that we need to run after all of the first ones finish executing is this one to install the demo script and to execute it. So copy this. We can see that in red, there's some variables that we need to insert with our own data. So we need to put in our test application ID, our game event stream, our AWS region that we're working in. And so we can find most of this information in the outputs of our CloudFormation stack. So copy this, go back to Cloud9, and you should see that we're working in an envi a Python environment now. So I'm going to paste this and start filling in my information here. So instead of test application ID, I'm going to go back to CloudFormation and find my test application ID, which is right here. Copy that. I'll copy, I'll paste that. Next, we need the game event stream name, which is also found in the CloudFormation output. So game events stream name, copy. I'll uh, paste that. And then finally, we just need our AWS region that we're working on working in so you can work in any region that you want uh, but I believe any region that you want that supports all of the resources and services that are used in this uh, this game analytics pipeline solution so I do believe we're working in North Virginia which is US East 1 which is the region code for that you can see all the region codes so what I'm going to do is put the region code here which is US East 1 and then once I have all of my variables filled out, I'm going to execute that command. And now we can see that we have 100 records being sent to the game analytics pipeline uh, solution. So we're sending records directly to our Kinesis data stream. And that's how we generate sample data. So leave this running for the duration of the time that you are working in the solution, but also make sure that once you're done messing around in the AWS console that you stop running this. Otherwise, the data will uh, keep generating and sending to your Kinesis data streams and it will cost you. The charge will add up. So make sure that you're just sending data when you need data to be sent. So for the duration of the series, we can send the data while we're doing real time and batch analytics. But when you're done, make sure that you stop sending the data.
So that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if this content is helpful for you. If there's a tutorial that you would like to see, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And stay tuned for our next episode where we'll do a deep dive on data ingestion.